What's up, guys? Hey, this is Christian Brenner with Six Fuck Off Medicare Agent, and we're back with another video. We have to talk about something that a lot of you, I'm sure, do not want to talk about. But before we get into that, guys, I got to talk to you about my favorite telemarketing lead company in the insurance industry, and that is Lead Heroes. Guys, Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to final expense, Medicare supplement, turn in 65, telemarketed leads. They have highly trained and skilled callers that take all of the legwork out of it for you when it comes to finding an interested and qualified prospect. Guys, you can either pay per lead with Lead Heroes for their real-time leads where they spoke with someone that day and were pre-qualified already, or you can just pay for one of their custom calling campaigns by the hour and have one of their trained telemarketers just call for you in whatever matter you want them to do. Guys, whatever you want them to do, Lead Heroes has got you covered. Just because you watch this video here today, Lead Heroes is gonna give you 10% off any order you make on their website just because you watch this video. Drop down into the description. There's a link to their website along with a coupon code that you can use for 10% off all orders. Okay guys, we gotta get real. We gotta get real, we gotta have a conversation about this. Um, and as many of you know, you know, I'm somebody that ends up working with a lot of newer agents in the business. Um, not as many these days as maybe I did last year. Um, 2021, I'm, I'm more looking to look, work with a little bit more established people in the business in terms of partnering with our agency. Um, but I'm gonna put this video out there because I think it can help a lot of agents, especially when they're brand new into the business, and that is this. Guys, there are endless people that I will encounter throughout the life of insurance. And that, 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 that mainly their objective is to build a business. They come in, they start to sell, they start making a little bit of money. Maybe they've sold 10 policies. Maybe they built a, a small book of business of about 40 or 50. And then they think, I've arrived. I figured this out. I'm self-sufficient. Time to recruit. No. Wrong. Look me in the eyes when I say this. You cannot fall into that trap, my friends. Let me explain what I'm talking about here. Guys, when you're building up your book of business, especially during the first 12 to 24, maybe even 36 months of building your business, it is a grind because nobody knows who you are at the beginning. You don't have an established clientele at the beginning, so you're, you're living off of commission or maybe you're working a part-time job to help you supplement your income until your client base is big enough to where you can quit that job. You're struggling potentially financially. The worst thing that you can do is start recruiting in that, in that um, time period. Unless your business model is to come in and recruit from day one, and that's what you want to do, and you're not going to be selling direct to consumer, you don't want to do this, guys. I'm going to get into some more detail on this. So when you are recruiting, this is something that you need to know. It is imperative that your residual income, your renewal income off of your own book of business can pay your bills comfortably already. Because when you're recruiting a new agents, agents cost you an insane amount of time, number one, and they can cost you money in order of what you need to do to support them. Now, you have to be careful when you're learning how to do this, but it can cost you time and money to work with these agents, particularly more than anything, time. And when you are new in the business, if you have 40 clients and you're spending all your time working with new agents, you're never going to be able to build that book of business up. You need a support system. You need an established business if you're going to venture into that, in my opinion, for a majority of people in our industry. And this is because of the cold, hard truth. A majority of agents in our business do not make it. A majority of agents in our business do not make it. Let me say it again. A majority of agents in our business do not make it. So if your entire business model is built on the back of 
essentially bringing agents into the business. I mean, the way you make money when you recruit agents is this. You bring them into the business. You teach them everything. They go out and they make sales. They make whatever they make, right? If it's a new to Medicare Advantage Commission, 539. If it's not new, 270, right? That's the street level Medicare Advantage Commission. Let's just use Medicare Advantage, for example. Um, I mean, likely, depending on what they sell, you might make $10 in overrides. You might make $25 in overrides. You might make $50 of overrides. You might even make $60 or $70 in overrides, depending on what your situation is. That is what you're going to make. That's if they sell something. Cody Askin says it all the time. Depending on your source, the number's going to be a little different. I mean, some sources say 90%, some say 95%. But Cody Askins has a whole conference built on the idea of 92% of insurance agents don't last longer than three years in the business. And it might not be 92%. It might be 93, 94, 95, maybe even 90. But it's a huge percentage. At least 9 out of 10 agents fizzle out of the business. If I showed you the number of agents that actually never write an app that actually get licensed, appointed, certified, it, the, the number would, would, would blow your mind. Guys, any of you that have ever been in a multi-level marketing company before, if you have, pay attention to what I'm saying. Why is it so hard to make it work in a multi-level marketing organization? It's because your business cannot grow unless the people you bring into the businesses, businesses grow. You're relying solely that your business will grow based on their efforts, almost exclusively. Most MLMs are built on the back of recruiting. Insurance is becoming more and more of that, and I think it's dangerous. Now, is recruiting a good thing? It can be, yes. But if you're brand new into the business, if you're in your first 12 months, maybe even 24 months, I am confident in saying chances are for most people, you don't know enough about the industry to bring people in and teach them. And if you have... 100 clients or under, maybe even 200 clients, unless that is your role in the industry, you do not want to get yourself muddy down with recruiting. Don't get into to the insurance business and start recruiting thinking you're going to make a lot of money. There are organizations that come in, and that is all that they do, right? These big FMOs and IMOs, that's what they do. That's all that they do. They don't necessarily sell direct to consumer. These are companies that are huge organizations. A lot of times they have partner investors, angel investors, things like that to help get them off of the ground. My dad always told me when I was new in the business and when I first started recruiting myself. Now, granted, keep this in mind, I didn't recruit one agent into my downline until I'd already been in the business five years. Five years? I was building my book of business. What I'm getting at is that's what you should do too for most of you. There are a few exceptions to what I'm saying here. Nothing I say is a blanket statement. I know I'm going to have someone slide into the comments and be like, well, Christian, I built a 15-year agency and we, did, we made millions of dollars and blah, 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 blah. Yes, there's exceptions. But a lot of agents I've seen come into the business, they get some momentum, they, they, they write a book, they build a book of maybe 50 clients in a short period of time, they do really well, then they start recruiting and their momentum just stops. They hit a brick wall because they're spending all this time trying to service these agents, get them contracted, keep them motivated, get them out there selling, and they stop selling themselves. Their downline isn't selling because 9 out of 10 agents don't do anything in the business. And they stop selling themselves, and their business just reaches a, a, a standstill. And it kills momentum for a new agent. No one is going to care more about your business than you. Let me repeat that. Not one person is going to care more about your business than you do. And for most of you, you are going to do much better building a book of business yourself first. Not saying you can't recruit later, but build out a book of business that essentially can be the, the, the foundation of your business. Then if you want to put some time into recruiting and be willing to go through those growing pains, you can do so. But when you're a new agent and you're living off of commission and you're depending on your commission statements, my dad always told me that one agent is equivalent to a hundred, uh, one agent is equivalent to the work of a hundred clients. And he's right. One agent is as much work as a hundred clients. Agents are incredibly needy, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing or it's not admirable to work with agents because it is, because you're helping them build their dream. But think about it from your perspective. 
you're going to build your business a lot quicker, a lot faster, and you don't have to worry with, about anyone else other than you, the person in the mirror, if you just build a book of business yourself first. This is something you need to hear. This is something that a lot of you need to hear. There are exceptions to this rule, but for most of you, they get into the business, you write 20 apps, 30 apps, 40 apps, 50 apps, and then you want to throw all your time into recruiting, you're going to be gravely disappointed. For every 10 agents you bring into the business, you might have one that do very good. You could bring 20 agents into the business, 30 agents into the business, 40 agents into the business, 50 agents into the business, and only have one or two maybe pan out. This is very much like MLM-ish. And our industry is becoming very multi-level marketing centric because of these multi-level marketing agencies that push agents to recruit and they feel like they have to do it. I've seen a lot of careers destroyed because they start recruiting too early and they don't quite understand how much time and focus it takes off of the bottom line and that's writing new business yourself. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just my personal opinion. I think a new agent, especially if you want to build a book of business and build a local, local presence, you're better off just writing yourself, writing business yourself. Worry about recruiting later because it's just going to take too much time away from your business. I think this is a message that a lot of new agents need to hear. Um, I didn't start recruiting until I was five years in, and I may have even started a little bit too soon. Um, who knows? I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, I've seen a lot of agents just hit a wall because they can't overcome. They bring five agents into the business. They're just time suckers. None of them ever write any business or produce anything. And then they just stop writing themselves and they just remain stagnant. Don't let that be you. Agents take a lot of time out of you and you actually, and, and the amount of you profit per agent is actually very minuscule for, for the most part. You make much more money writing business yourself. So for me, as a, for a new agent, that's what I would encourage you to start. And then once you have an established book of business, once you're making six figures in renewals, then maybe it's something you can focus on if that is your passion, if that's something you have a desire to do. Anyway, guys, um, thanks so much for taking some time to watch this video. Um, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I totally off? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down in the comment section. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And hit subscribe for future six-figure Medicare agent content. Have a great day. Take care.